the economy of the web. So, assuming you're a complete greenhorn at this point, you might be wondering how precisely money gets generated online. Where does it all come from? Why is it profitable to run a website that is free for anyone to read? The answer is advertising. If you create a website and place adverts on it, then you will get paid by the advertisers, depending on how many people see your website on a given day. The simplest way to explain this to someone unfamiliar with internet marketing is to say that it is the precise same business model as the one used by free magazines handed out at your local subway stop. These magazines don't cost anything to read, but because so many eyes are on them, the publishers can charge advertisers large amounts to show their ads. You can do precisely the same thing by having a website with a large amount of traffic. There are several different ways in which advertising can make you money as a web publisher. PPC. This is pay-per-click, and popular examples include the likes of Google AdSense. You can also get CPM, which means cost per impression. PPC pays out when someone clicks on one of your ads, and CPM pays out each time an advert loads on your site. You sign up to the ad network, get given some code, place it on your site, and start earning. Banner ads. Banner ads are much more straightforward. These are agreed with the advertiser on a per month basis, and you'll simply get paid a fee by that advertiser each month that the ads are displayed. Affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is a big aspect of internet marketing, and it's actually one of the principal ways that money gets made online. Here, you get paid commission if someone buys a product that you recommend. So let's say you're a big blogger who writes about fitness. You might then recommend a certain protein shake. And each time someone buys that shake using the link you're provided with, which is how they know you sent them, you will earn 30% of that sale. The more persuasive you are, the more visitors you have in your site, the more you can earn. There are various other variations on this theme. In white label dropshipping, for instance, you sell a product that your brand is your own, but each time a sale is made, a manufacturer will do the work and send out the item while taking a cut of the money. Sponsorship. These days, sponsorship is more and more of a big deal on the web. If you can build a website with thousands of viewers or a YouTube channel with a million subscribers, then that will make you a thought leader. Now, brands will want to associate themselves with your brand, and so they might pay for you to give them a shout-out or even just to wear their clothing. This is how your general blog will make money online. But of course, there are many different types of businesses that run and thrive online. That's because these days, you can sell pretty much anything online. Often then, your business will simply sell a product or service. If you are a law firm, then you make money through your website every time someone calls up and secures your services. If you have an e-commerce shop selling CDs, then you make money each time someone buys a CD. And these days, more and more creators also sell digital products. So a digital product is simply a product that isn't physical. So, this isn't a car or an ornament, but rather it is an ebook or an online course. The advantage here is that anyone can make a digital product. Often it is just a PDF, which we're really selling in this case is the knowledge. Likewise, a company can sell digital services, which means they'll be selling article writing, web design, search engine optimization. In other words, they'll be selling things that the other sites can use in order to be more successful selling their products. Whatever the business model of the website, social media channel, or YouTube channel, the constant truth is that more traffic equals more money. The more people view your site, the more advertisers will want to work with you. The more you'll be able to sell products for commission, and the more you'll be able to sell your own products or services. That said, there's one thing that is actually more important than traffic, and that is engagement. In other words, do the people who come to your site go there because you have advertising everywhere? Or do they go there because they love your brand and they're curious to know what you're going to write about next? It's the true fans that are likely to buy your products and to follow your recommendations. They are the ones you want on your site. The balance of power. In each of these different business models, the balance of power is slightly different. Your aim is to ensure that the balance is in your favor as often as possible. So, for example, if you are making money from PPC, where do you think you are in the ladder? You're right at the bottom. Somewhere at the end of this long chain, someone is making a purchase. AdSense means that an advertiser is paying Google for each visitor, and Google is then giving you a percentage of that money. 
So not only do you have Google as a middleman, but you are also losing a customer, normally for only a few cents. That customer is then heading over to another website, where they are making the other company more money. You know that on average, each customer is worth more to the advertiser than they are to you. Otherwise, the advertiser wouldn't have the money to pay for your adverts. It wouldn't be profitable. So, you should think long and hard before covering your website in ads and calling it a day. If you go direct to an advertiser and get paid per month for a display ad, then you'll be a little higher up the ladder because you'll be making money directly from the advertiser without anyone taking a cut in between. Better yet is to be an affiliate marketer. Affiliate marketers often make very large cuts of the overall profit, and in the case of digital products, this can sometimes be as much as 70% or even 90%. The product owners don't mind giving away so much profit because they wouldn't have made the money themselves anyway. This is in addition to what they're already making from their own sales. And the more commission they give away, the more sellers they attract to help them sell units. But you're still giving away some of the profit, and you're still not in control of the brand. Moreover, you are still sending someone away from your website in order to make that cash. And this is why it's better yet to have your own product whenever possible. And if you're a business that sells an actual physical product or useful service, then you will still be in the strongest position possible. Then again, there's nothing to stop you from having multiple different revenue streams on a single website. You can run a blog that makes money from AdSense, also has a paid banner at the top of the page, also recommends affiliate products in the body of the blog post, and also sells an ebook. And why not offer a consulting program on top of that? Either way, this is what makes the web go round. Well, that, Google, and content.